Uh, it's 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 never easy. I mean, I think the the number one trait that you must have as an actor is any time that you're told no, you have to be able to bounce right back. You will get told no so many times in your career. I can't. I still get told no today. Having been doing this for 23 years, I will have a meeting for something that I really, really, really want, and I won't get it. Okay? And that is part of being an actor, full stop, regardless of, of who you are. If I could tell you some of the actors I know who have wanted things that you would all know, and they didn't get them, even now, at this stage in their career, only one person can get the job. Only one person can get the job. Remember that. And a lot of the decision making is out of your control. What you can control is A, coming in always with a positive attitude. Nobody wants to hear your excuses. Nobody wants to know why you haven't prepared the text. Nobody wants to know that uh, you weren't feeling well the night before, so you weren't able to do a, B, or C, nobody cares. You go in there and be the best prepared the b and make the best presentation of the material that you are capable of making every single time, okay? And one of those times, it's gonna roll your way. And all the times that it doesn't before, when you get that yes, you forget the 15 no's that came before. And that's very important. Forget the no's. They don't mean anything. If they say no to you, they don't know what they're talking about. These aren't the people that you want to be working with right now. Okay? You must have supreme self-confidence in yourself. Always. That is the number one key trait to a successful actor in, in my opinion and in my experience. I've seen it with every successful actor that I know and have worked with. I see it with Anupamji, I see it with, I see it with everyone. Everyone who makes it in this industry has that one trait, and that is complete self-belief in what they do and confidence in what they do, and you never go into a meeting unprepared. I cannot tell you how bad that is. You only get that one chance to make a good impression. You make that bad impression. I remember when I was a very young actor, I went in and I did an audition for uh, something that I didn't think was very good. So I thought, you know what, I don't need to do that much preparation. It's not very good, so I don't need to be very good. But guess what? The casting director who was casting that project is a very good casting director. And I went in there and did a very mediocre job. He didn't see me for anything for five years. Wow. So learn from that. Just because of that one audition where I was like, that's ah, all right. Five years, this guy didn't see me, and he cast very good stuff. So learn from my mistake on that. There is no meeting that is unimportant. All meetings are important because you don't know what can come from it. Okay, Th that particular project that you're meeting on may not be the one for you. But the person who's working on that project may think, okay, well, not right for this. But two years down the road, oh, remember that guy who came in? Did a really good job, but he wasn't right for that. He's completely right for this. Let's work with him on this. I still take classes. I still go to a class in New York. Keep and going. To, to learn, to, for, to, I, a scene work, if I have a, you know, a movie audition coming up, I'll go in and I'll work that scene with people. It's always nice to have that feedback. Somebody say, hey, why don't you try this on that, in that, in that part of the scene? Um, and you can, oh God, I didn't think about that. I never thought about that. Thank you. Wonderful. I'll try it. May work, may not work. You give it a shot. Um, constant preparation, constant preparation. An actor is never done learning, ever. You know, you should always be preparing, working on voice, movement, 
keeping your body, your instrument in shape. That is all part of being an actor. Um, it's not, oh, I've got my piece of paper now, my diploma, it says I'm an actor. So here you go, sir, please hire me. It, does, it doesn't work like that. Um, you have to prove yourself every single time. You have to prove yourself. So please remember that and please keep doing this. First of all, it's, it's that self-belief. You, you believe in yourself, believe in your capabilities. If you guys are at this school, you have some talent. You wouldn't be here otherwise, right? Listen to your teachers. Always prepare, prepare, prepare. The way that I have found where you, you're able to keep that positive attitude is by doing. Because as you do, you get better. That gives you confidence. So keep working scenes, even if you're not, uh, even if you're not uh, preparing an audition. You're all here, you're all colleagues. Get together and work some scenes. You will get confidence from that. Getting up and doing uh, uh, Shakespeare, whatever, whatever the, 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 the scene may be, a TV scene, whatever it is. And the other thing that I find very, very helpful is don't make it all about the acting have some outside interest. Well, for me, it's tennis. I'm obsessed with tennis. I play tennis every chance I get. That, for me, clears my mind. It helps me to keep positive because I just, I'm not thinking about, you can't think about one thing and fixate on one thing all the time. It is not healthy. It doesn't help you. It actually hurts you. Um, have some outside interest. Have a palate cleanser, yeah. right? The main course, is always acting, always. You can have a little appetizer of cafe and coffee, beach, maybe a little dessert of, you know, going and, and doing something else. But the main course is always the acting and the craft, and you, and you must focus on that. But keeping that positive attitude does involve, for me, um, a little bit of outside interest, a little bit of something that doesn't make you hyper-focused on only the acting. Because sometimes those outside things, so I have found breakthroughs on characters that I'm struggling with doing other, working out at the gym, you know? Because you're thinking about it constantly. The scene, why isn't this working? Why can't I figure this out? Why can't I figure out this line? Why can't I figure out why I'm saying this to this person in this scene? And then all of a sudden, you're sitting there doing a pull-up and it comes to you, right? That's what I mean by palate cleanser. You just kind of like let it go for a minute and then it comes back to you. You cannot have plan B. Yeah, exactly. There's no plan B, okay? There's plan A, which is be an actor. If you have something to fall back on, my safety job, my survival job, my whatever it is, this, if it doesn't work out, I can always go and do this, the acting isn't gonna happen. It is a full-time proposition. It is a full-time job finding work and, 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 and practicing your craft. And again, I wanna stress it again, you have to keep going. Three months, I have my diploma here, sir, give me a job, does not work. You have to keep going. You have to keep training. I assume you keep offering courses, classes for people to come back to. You've got to do it. You've got to do it. It's the only way that you become better. Um, I, can't, I, can't, I can't say it any more plainly than that. There are two schools of thought on this. Um, one is you always do it as scripted. I find that boring. If you have an idea that you think is going to work, what I do, because I always find little things, I think, hey, I could improvise this or, or that or what, it's always worth trying it. So give them what they want, which is on the page, and then ask for another one. That's what I do. I said, can I have one for me? Can I have one take for me? Well, can we do it? And 95% of the time, they'll say yes. The old 5% of the time where they say no, it's because of time. We don't have the time. 
But if it's a great idea, they're going to listen. And there's always uh, a little bit of nerves when you go into a new, uh, into a new role. Uh, that's normal, especially when you're going into you know, an iconic comic book type of situation where everybody knows this character, everybody knows who blood work is. But as an actor, you, you want that challenge. You want to be able to rise to the challenge. I don't want a role that I don't have to do anything, right? Like, it's just like, oh, it's so easy. I don't have to prepare. Like, I want to be challenged, right? So once that role came to me, when they gave me that role, I started working on it right away. And yes, part of it was, don't screw this up. Like, you better get this right because there are millions of fans of this comic book and of this character. And that should motivate you. You should never let it stunt you. You should never let it scare you so much that you just get paralyzed. You have to use that as a motivating force to say, you know what, I'm gonna give the best blood work that anybody could ever imagine. I'm gonna be that guy. I'm gonna be the best Dr. Ramsey Rosa that anybody has ever seen. And then you go at it with everything you have. There's no palate cleansers involved with this. You just go straight for it. You have to. Uh, I really enjoy speaking to, to young people starting out in this crazy industry that, uh, that we're in. Um, I, think it's, uh, I think it's once you've been in the industry for as long as I've been in, um, it can be easy to be cynical and you don't want to pass that on to the students. And it was really lovely to see them so interested in soaking in the information. Um, they're, uh, it seemed like a very eager bunch, a very uh, dedicated bunch, and that's, that's what you need to have even a shot at succeeding at, the, at this business. Never give up. If this is what you wanna do, you can never ever give up, regardless of who tells you no? Who tells you you're not good at what you do? Who tells you you're too tall, too thin, too fat, too ugly, too pretty, too whatever it is? Those are just people's opinions. You have to know who you are before you can put out anything into the world creatively. So know who you are and then put it out there. And if people don't see that, if people don't understand that, then those aren't the people you should be working with. Keep going, never ever give up.